folks, welcome to the ABC Journeyman. I'm the Custard Prophet. We're back some way into season two with Andover Town, and we have come to this season armed with a swath of new signings. And as you can see, things have gone spectacularly well so far. Yeah, if you <laughs> looky looky, as you can probably suspect, Luke Steele has done exactly what it says on the tin for him he has been an absolute superb player um been really really pleased currently got an average rating of 8.23 scored 14 goals in eight games absolutely fantastic um we sit top of the league 19 points and 15 a plus 15 goal difference absolutely unbelievably good this is what, what's happened since that win over East Cows Vix, which was a bit of a tough one. We played Andover New Street, the local derby, beat them 2-0 despite having a player sent off in the 32nd minute. We were all over them for the first 30 minutes. Andy Hall and Carlos Betridge with the goals. Um, we then went away to Downton and um, two goals from Luke Steele. I think we dominated this match and were a little unlucky to not come away with three points but uh, a, a draw there is fine we we aren't going to win them all so you know I was happy to go away against the top side and come away with um, without losing it because we would have lost that match last year in the FA Vars we got through against Nelson uh, in the um, on penalties in the first qualifying round we've not gone far with that unfortunately as you can see we've just been knocked out but this was against a level eight side so I didn't feel too bad about this and some of the goals in this game were absolutely ridiculous Luke Steele got himself a goal but look at this first goal I have to show you this because it is utterly insanely good okay yeah take a look at this one this is an absolute corker of a goal best puts it into Newton he's already scored a goal from distance and yeah on the volley way out and puts it in the bottom corner absolutely gorgeous strike so yeah okay we're out of that but in the in between those games we have won most of them and we've scored lots of goals against the relegated Laverstock and Ford 4-1 win Betteridge with two Steel with two which Church United away now these were a team that were doing really well last year hat trick from Luke Steele 3-0 Romsey Town second in the league at home we were absolutely dominant in this game. Three goals from Luke Steele, Betteridge with a goal, Baden Rolls, Hall and Perry. And actually, they the only reason they managed to get back into this with two goals at the end is that Baden Rolls got himself injured and had to come off shortly after he scored his goal. So, yeah, we were um, absolutely dominant for the first sort of 70 or so minutes. Uh, yeah, I don't know what time he came off, but I don't think it says. But, I mean, to do that, and then we went... Home against New Milton Town, I wasn't expecting too much, too much of an issue here. Especially as we went 3-0 up, Adamson, Betteridge with a couple. Um, but all of a sudden it looked like a, uh, a switch was flipped at this point and we were, we were absolutely dominated in the second half. Uh, we lost it 4-3, can't understand it, don't, don't have a clue how that happened. But in the end... You know, it doesn't matter because we're still top of the league. And then we played Warminster Town away. 3-1 victory here. Luke Steele with a couple. Betteridge with a goal. Yeah, after going 1-0 down. So I'm pleased. It looks like that was just a little blip. Um, and yeah, I don't, I'm not too worried about losing it. It's Long Ridge Town because they were, you know, two divisions above us. So yeah, we can, we can deal with that. But as you can see, we are scoring goals. Luke Steele scoring 13 in 8 um, games and Collis Betteridge 7 in 8 so it's pretty damn good those, those two are absolutely doing things we're playing Newport Isle of Wight uh, the bottom of the table at the minute I wanted to come back for basically this game so that's what it was um, I think there'd been I, I think it wasn't this game that we'd sorted out because the uh, the Long Ridge Town fixture has, has screwed things up but it's fine it's fine we're going to be playing the Newport game, um, and hopefully we can add to our points tally of 19. Um, two teams, the teams around us, I mean, there's three teams just two points behind us, so it's not all 
going for us. We've played Downton, we've played Romsey Town, we've played Andover New Street, and they're doing quite well. We haven't yet played Millbrook, who were terrible last season. Um, in fact, we've played most of these people, I think, uh, at the top. We, there's a lot here that are, who are doing poorly who we haven't actually come across so, yet. So I wonder whether we've actually done the hard part. Um, it'll be interesting to see. But anyway, folks, let me know what you think about this start to the season. It's better than I could have ever imagined with the, the new signings we've brought in. One additional change uh, that we've made, a couple of ins, one in and one out. Uh, Thomas Pruvot, our French um Striker has gone out to tooting something. Uh, yeah, I. He was a good player last season. He was he was a good player for us last season. Scored seventeen goals, I think, twelve goals, almost there. But he's just not been involved at all this season. And when he's come on, he's not looked at, at least bit of a threat. So we brought in the brilliantly named Jazz Lucky from Long Buckley, who I think is a much better looking player. He hasn't got the speed necessarily that Pruvot has got but he's got a bit of jumping reach about him and he can finish uh, he's got good composure good off the ball I'm pretty happy with this guy I think he's going to be a real threat he's 33 and he's going to be sitting on the bench starting on the bench today but I'm hoping we can rest Luke Steele a little bit with someone like this in the team right then let's get into it let's play Newport Isle of Wight at home and if we can win this, we will be into the 20 point marks, which would be pretty good at this stage of the season. Okay, so team we're going with. Obviously, Betteridge and Steele are playing excellently together. And on the right side, Hall and Williamson have, have struck up a fantastic partnership, as has Adamson and Seymour in, in the middle. Um, in fact, it shouldn't be Seymour in there. No, it should be. Yeah, Adamson has been probably the biggest surprise of the season he's not over seven with his average rating but i didn't really rate him last year he's come in and he's playing these wonderful through balls with with no attributes that he should be able to play he's got no vision no real passing ability um you know no concentration no composure none of these things in any great amount but you know he, he's playing well above his attributes at the minute for some reason castles and solly uh i've got a a line between them that they're not working well. I think that's just the four goals they conceded in the last game against a very, very good side. So I'm not too worried about that. Butler's back in at left back with Beckham Caschietto, who's played quite a lot of football actually. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pleased with that. He's been he's been very very good. Um, I don't think there's any major changes. I think we're now playing Perry on the left side rather than Guest, but. Um, yeah, let's go and let's go and see how we do. It's a it's a good team, and uh, hopefully, we can give Newport Isle of Wight a bit of a hammering. Right, we're starting on a cautious mentality, which is what we what we typically do. Um, we've not really moved up, actually. We haven't needed to. Right, already they've got a, maybe a a chance early days. Ball's gone all the way through them though. Valise and Adamson's just careered out. Got the ball to steal. He's looking for the pass. Perry's got it now. Uh, into Butler. He's going to play Betteridge in. His pace is really helpful. And there is a foul. And Valise, from having a, a chance to take the lead, um, he's uh, he's given away a penalty. And Steele's going to put this away, surely. He's not missed. And look at that. Steele by name. Steele by nature. He just... 15th goal of the season, absolutely brilliant. We're 1-0 up, and uh, yeah, he he is awesome. He really is. 38-year-old player. I never thought I'd be so excited about having someone 38 in my team. But uh, maybe another chance. Cissé in goal. And uh, Butler gets his head to it. Perry. Through to Betridge. That's good. And he smashes it past the goalkeeper as well. I thought he was going the other side, but went near post. And we're 2-0 up, nine minutes gone. This is what this is how it's been, to be fair. It's absolutely madness. Williamson into steel. Ball in. Oh, the ball's a bit too high for Perry, but he's got support from Butler. 
Nice little one-two into Parry. <laughs> and Parry puts in the bottom corner. Lovely finish with 3-0 up against the bottom team in the table. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good start. That was a really, really nice finish from Butler. No, it wasn't it Butler? No, it was Perry, wasn't it? Yeah, that's probably his first of the season. Well, we've not really had a highlight since. Um, well, we haven't. 37 minutes on the clock now. And looking maybe to create something more. Lovely header on to Betteridge. Betteridge puts it past the goalkeeper. Wonderful finishing today. We had four on target and all four have gone in. Well, half time with 4 0 up. Looking absolutely fantastic. I think, well, not maybe not quite yet, but I think we're going to be trying out our new guy um, and see how he does in this, uh, in this formation. I'm hoping he will integrate quite quickly, but sometimes it can take some time. Right, Kessel is going along with this one. Perry doesn't win the header there, and Harris has just got it on this right side. So he plays it inside to Hall. He's going to have a shot, and it's just deflected into the goalkeeper's hands. And a uh, little bit of a, uh, a, a sighter there for the um, for the Isle of Wight side. Maybe they're maybe they're looking to come back into this. Dear, and that's a lovely through ball, and it's an absolutely horrific finish. Right, couple of changes. George Banders coming on for his debut at right back, and Jazz Lucky has replaced Luke Steele. So let's see how both of those do. It's gone long. Castles is going to pick this up. He just goes first time. Jazz Lucky doesn't get his head to the ball, and again it's another ball through the defender, and this time. Um, the goalkeeper comes out like a crazy man and completely loses track of where everyone is. And somehow we not what uh, we didn't go um, a goal behind there. It's kind of kind of gone the other way, hasn't it? Solly there wins it, but again we're just letting them in behind us. And this is this seems to be the one issue that we seem to continually have that. I don't know whether this is a lovely shot from Mark over the top, but just losing concentration or what. But we do go missing for periods of the game, and it's not really great. So Castles has gone along with that. He loses out with a doesn't find the pass. Cisse there, and they they've absolutely found the player on the right side. And here they come again. 83 minutes. I mean, they're not getting back into this defence doesn't do anything there and then finally they've they've got it back 4-1 and uh, yeah interesting where all of a sudden it's changed Adamson playing to Castles Castles goes long far too much for my life. Lucky has not won a header at all but he's got the ball now it's the first time we've seen him with the ball and it's a stunning little ball through to Betteridge and he didn't quite put it through. It was a lovely little ball. So in the end, it wasn't quite the dominant performance that the first, was it, half half an hour, 40, 40 minutes might suggest. In fact, the second half, we were nowhere near as good as you can see. And we let uh, Newport back into it. But that's fine. I mean, you don't have to be on it all the time. We've got some good minutes out of a, a bunch of the players. Lucky got himself on the pitch and set up a chance for Betteridge, but he isn't, wasn't able to finish it off. Be interesting to see he, how he does, uh, but let's have a look what that means in terms of the league table. Well, we will be top, we know that, but have we extended our lead beyond two points? So Millbrook lost against Downton, which means that now Downton and Romsey are the teams who are closest chasing us. Um, with Millbrook and under a new street uh, just a little bit further back from them. But I know, very, very nice 4-1 victory. Um, and we'll see we'll see what happens now. I mean we were we would we'd won that game within the well within the first 20 minutes really. Um, and but we just gotta stop teams coming back at us. Uh, I think we're really good but we just lose concentration I think. Maybe I need to shout at the team a little bit more. Um, 
you know, tell them to concentrate. I don't know. Let me let me know what you would be doing in those situations. I think considering how well things are going, I think what we will do, unless things change drastically, we'll come back for this game here just before the, the um, just before December. So it gives us another couple of months to play through, uh, and we'll see how we get on in that period. Are we going to stay in first place? Are we going to be able to extend this lead, or are things going to kind of drop back? I don't know. I don't know. But we've got a very, very good um, set of players, I think, here. Let me know what you think about the season, how you think things are going, and um, what I what I should be changing, how I should be integrating some of these new players that I've uh, that we that we bought in. So here you see. Um, last time there was no jobs at all now there are a couple of jobs of teams starting with B so this level I think is the same level we're at the Southwest Peninsula League Premier League East let's just double check that pass not sure but there are a couple of jobs available at Basingstoke and Bovey Tracy who, which are clubs if we do win the league we could go to obviously they won't be available at the end of this but it's not going to be impossible. There were comments that it might be might be really tricky finding a job. Well, hopefully at this level, there will be teams that become available, and we can um, and we can do this. We are we will um, be able to stay at the team until something becomes available, uh, as long as we don't don't go beyond four years. So that that was the uh, those were the rules. Anyway, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very shortly. See how we've got on in the first half of the season. Fingers crossed we will still be top of the league. See you then. Bye-bye.